Namibia's quest to record higher economic growth rate and eradicate poverty will remain a pipe dream if it is not able to access cheap financing. President Hage Gengo criticized the World Bank for classifying Namibia as an upper-middle-income country, saying the Bread and Woods Institution's categorization does not take into consideration the structural imbalances in the economy and the extremely skewed income distribution. Describing this as unfair, Dr. Gengob reiterated that the World Bank classification has not made it any easier for the country to mobilize resources. I therefore call upon this conference to take as one of its resolutions that concessional funding, including grant funding, should be extended to upper middle income countries. We need access to funding in better conditions. Without a change in approach, our efforts to develop will be curtailed. He said the partnership between developed and developing countries should be transparent and should be premised on a win-win situation. The developed world should not dictate terms, forcing poorer nations into signing agreements that are not beneficial to them as it was the case during the economic partnership agreement negotiation. The times are changing and the dynamics of development are becoming increasingly complex. Development financing and the mechanisms that govern it should also change and become relevant to the realities of our time. We need a different approach in the partnership between the developed and developing world. We need new partnerships where everyone is considered equal. The head of state is, however, confident that the war against poverty can be achieved with multifaceted approaches. He went on to thank the Bush administration for having waived Namibian classification as a middle-income country, which opened the door for the country to access funding through the Millennium Challenge account, MCA. He said the MCA support helped the country in achieving several developmental goals. Despite the urgent need for soft loans, Dr. Gengov said Namibia will safeguard its financial sovereignty and not borrow irresponsibly. Blanche Corrises, NBC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.